Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about differences between Prims and Criscoll algorithm. See, both Prims and Criscoll algorithm are used to construct minimum spanning tree. Let us see the differences, the major differences between these two. The first difference is, see, the Prims algorithm. See, Prims algorithm constructed the minimum span tree by processing what? Vertices by processing vertices. Whereas uh, Criscoll algorithm constructs the minimum span tree. Criscoll algorithm constructs the minimum span tree for the given graph by processing what? Edges. So this is the, the one basic difference. Prim's algorithm constructs the minimum span tree by processing what? Vertices. Whereas Criscoll algorithm constructs the minimum span tree by processing edges. Okay. The second difference, see, I, while explaining, I told in the Prim's algorithm, whenever we are moving from one vertex to another vertex, it should be from visited to unvisited. Okay, this is the condition. So, always we need to move from visited node to unvisited vertex. That is the condition, what, or that is the principle of Prim's algorithm. See, always we need to move from visited to unvisited vertices only. But for the Criscoll algorithm, there is no such condition. So we can move from either visited to visited or unvisited to unvisited or unvisited to visited, visited to anything. There is no such condition in the what? Criscoll algorithm. See, in the Prim's algorithm, first time vertex A visited, then vertex A to B visited, unvisited. Next, from B to C, B is visited, C is unvisited, like visited to unvisited. Whereas, in the Criscoll algorithm, you see, first, both are unvisited, B and C, both are unvisited. Next, again, F to E, both are unvisited. Next, from A to B, B is visited, A is unvisited. Okay, next, again, B to F, B is visited, F is unvisited. From all these combinations, okay, anything can happen. There is no such condition in what? Criscoll algorithm. But in the Prim's algorithm, there is a such condition, okay? And the third condition, if you observe the problem in what? Prim's algorithm, if you see the partially constructed minimum span entry, connected, all the vertices are 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 connected. But if you see, if you observe the illustration between these two Prims and Criscoll, see, this is connected, see, this are disconnected, see, these two nodes are not connected to any one of these, this is the disconnected tree, okay, all the nodes are not connected at least, so, okay, but, so th this is disconnected. That means here in the Prim's algorithm, that's the condition, always from visited to unvisited. But here it may be whatever and all. Okay, so that means here the partially constructed minimum spanning tree may be, should be, should be connected here. In which one? In Prim's algorithm it should be connected. Whereas in the Criscoll algorithm, it may be or it may not be. So what is that? So partially constructed. Minimum span entry should be what? Should be connected, connected. But here may be connected. Which one partially constructed minimum span entry may be connected or disconnected? Anything is fine. Okay, so this is the third difference. So the fourth difference, okay. So now, we'll solving the problem which is easy. So if you observe the Prim's algorithm, it is little bit difficult when compared to what? Criscoll algorithm. Criscoll algorithm is very, very easy. Okay, just sort the address, you check each edge, forming cycle or not, Sim very simple. Okay, so Criscoll algorithm is what? Very simple, okay. But comparatively, it is not simple. This is very simple. But it is comparatively, that means when compared to this one, it is not simple. Comparatively what? Not simple. Okay. Fifth one, but this will take more time. Which one? Chris call. Takes more time. 
How? Because first it has to sort. For sorting only it will take too much of time. Then again you need to check everything. Okay, so Chris call takes more time. So this one is faster when compared to Chris call algorithm. Okay, the last difference. So time complexity is E log V, whereas time complexity is E log E. This is the time complexity. Okay, so these are the what differences between Prim's algorithm and the Criscoll algorithm. So hope you people understood. If you have any questions, please write it in the comments. Thank you. Thanks for watching.